a black sedan, don't want you hop inside my car. I've got candy flaws, I'm a traveling man, and I will take you to the nearest star. Hey. Hi, weirdos. <laughs> Spook. I used to be a schizophrenic, but we're both okay now. <laughs> wow, this place is weird, huh? Sliver. <laughs> I met a guy outside tonight. Sliver. On his way to the Olympic Games. I said, are you a pole vaulter? He said, no, German, but how did you know my name? <laughs> I boogied on down to the disco. Boogie. You'll all be doing it tomorrow. <laughs> Met my brother Spike. Spike spoke. Spook. <laughs> he said, hi, Roy J. He remembered me. Spike's weird. Had a pumpkin under his arm. I said, hey, Spike, what are you doing with the pumpkin? He said, is it 12 o'clock already? <laughs> Slither. He's weird. I've got to talk to someone about it. He crossed a Rhode Island red with a crystal ball. Now he's got a chicken that gets in touch with the other side of the road. <laughs> what a weird disco. Spook. <laughs> So this weird chick. Wow. She was so weird, she was putting Grecian 2000 on her legs. <laughs> she was so thin, her boobs were in single file. <laughs> I said, hey, babe, slither. She slithered. You'll all be doing it tomorrow. <laughs> she said, I'm a librarian. I said, have you anything by Harold Robbins? She said, yeah, twins. <laughs> Slither. This is for all the male chauvinists all around Great Britain. A little poem that depicts male chauvinism. <laughs> Put another log on the fire, woman. Cook me up some bacon and some beans. Go out to the car and change my tire and come on in and sew my old blue jeans. <laughs> Fill my pipe, then go fetch my slippers. And boil me up another cup of tea. Put another log on the fire, woman. And come and tell me why you're leaving me. <laughs> Hey, take it down. I can't stand weird people. <laughs> take a weirdo from Wigan. Stick him miles from anywhere. Put him on a little desert island right in the middle of the Pacific. A little desert island, four by two. One day he's walking around. We had a great time and walked back. <laughs> Slither. Say he's been on this island six years. Six years without a woman. No Meccano said. Spook. <laughs> One day he's dangling his tootsies in the tide. <laughs> Suddenly two little crabs walk by. He looked across the ocean and through a crack in a palm tree, he saw another little island. Spook. <laughs> I'll get across there, so off he swamped. <laughs> he flaked out. <laughs> when he opened his weird wig and eyes, staring over him was this. One hell of a woman. 
Long blonde hair, blue eyes, bronze bodied pearly teeth, nothing on but a grass skirt. Oh, he thought for me black and decker. <laughs> I said, how long have you been here? She said, uh, uh no, but. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, no, but. <laughs> this happened 17,000 times. <laughs> Take 17,001. <laughs> how long have you been here? She said, six years. He said, uh, uh no, but. <laughs> she said, why don't you come back to my cosmic pad for a spooky cup of tea? So off they spooked. Spook. As they come to the pad, wow. What a pad it was. Persian carpets. Good plan walnut furniture. Inside toilet, stainless steel silverware. Brook Bond PG tips, Tate and Live Cube sugar, and carnation cream. <laughs> he thought this'll do me. She said, uh, Slither, man. He slithered. <laughs> You'll all be doing it tomorrow. <laughs> she said, uh, Do you want a piece of cake? <laughs> she said, You've not got cake. <laughs> Come out with this great big plate of Mr. Kipling's apple crumble. <laughs> Exceedingly good. She said, Do you want some bickies? He said, Bickies? Bickies? You've not got dunkers? <laughs> and he's sitting in the corner having a dunk. <laughs> she came across, undid a grass skirt, and dropped it. I said, no, Slither, man. Tell me, what have you missed most in six years? He goes, go on, you've not got a chip pan as well, have you? <laughs> Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know any of the names, but uh, how's Brighton? All right? Oh, that's smashy, lovely. Enjoying yourselves, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, what are you all doing? <laughs> Love, right, good. Well, I'll tell you what, ladies, I've been reading the papers a lot about uh, people win the football pools and gambling. We all like a little gamble. Like this fella, he won £250,000 on the pools. And his pal said, what are you going to do with the money? He said, well, £50,000 on women, £30,000 on drinks, £60,000 gambling on the horses. So his pal said, what about the rest of it? He said, I'll just squander that. <laughs> <laughs> so to that gun, I thought it'd be a good idea to uh, go over now to our bingo and hear from our bingo caller this evening, who's going to an our bingo for us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As I stand on your bingo, have you all got your bingo cards? Yeah. Yeah. Right, off we go then. And coming out from your first number is... Take that man, it's his... Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Anybody sweat it? <laughs> your next number is... Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Of eight ever origin. <laughs> On its own, eight. <laughs> okay, go. What's that got in here? <laughs> Cock and end number ten. <laughs> right, keep it going, lad. Anybody sweating yet? Any Up the road? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, keep it going. Here are two crutches it happened. <laughs> there we go. Oh, brother. <laughs> I think we'd be able to be having a bit of a... Hey, Dad. Alf! 
Can you hear me? I think it's a bit of a microphone. That's what I'm I'm going on up again a bit. I'm a bit bingo. Oh, I'm a, a, a full stop. It's okay like this. It's a bit right. These people think I'm hackers. Okay like this. Go on, get your finger out. Can you get the plug and move the plug up out again? Like, listen, you can stop this. Others, this is God. Don't you make me look a fool, son of a You what? Oh, yes. It's me doing the voice, you know. <laughs> you what? You found a, a ferret in the fuse box and you're defusing the ferret. I'll tell you what, I'll do without the microphone. You can't. A microphone is. Go. I'll do without the microphone, ladies and gentlemen. Your next number coming up after the collapse of the week. <laughs> Your next number is. I. I. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on now, after the bingo, to our entertainment. And uh, we have some lovely turns coming along to entertain you. Now, the artist we have for next week is nailed on the door. And uh, I'll just have a, a pinch of snuff while we're waiting. <laughs> One, two. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are. Hello, hello, hello. What's wrong now? The act hasn't arrived. The act hasn't arrived, ladies and gentlemen. The turn hasn't arrived. Hasn't turned up, others. You know, I've done a bit myself. I used to be a tap dancer, but I kept falling in the sink. <laughs> and uh, I can do a bit of singing, as you know. <laughs> Running all the way. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.